Hello there guys and welcome to our 11th uh, Java GUI programming tutorial. Uh, if you remember from our previous tutorial, this is all code from our previous tutorial. So if you didn't watch that, go ahead and take a look, take a quick peek at that and make sure you have all this code before you get started. If you have all this, then we go ahead and get started and, and waste no time. So as I mentioned, as we mentioned in our previous tutorial, what we would do in this tutorial is basically, let me go ahead and build this, just so you can see what we had from our previous tutorial. We added basically a frame with a panel, a blend, and nothing in here, and we added a menu bar and also some menu and some menu items. So once we click in file, we see our menu items here. And what we talked about last uh, tutorial, that in this tutorial we're going to go ahead and add um, action listener to the exit button. I mean the exit, uh, the exit uh, menu, the item menu. Sorry about that. So if you click on the exit, it should basically close the program. Right now it doesn't do anything, but well, we're going to go ahead and fix that. So let's go ahead and close it and let's go ahead and do that. So down here, where we added uh, our exit menu to the, to the file menu, uh, our, where we added our exit menu item, as I say, to the file menu, we're going to go ahead, so we're going to go ahead and let's go down. And, uh, here we go. So, what we want to do is go down and down here sorry that's, that's just the video quality going bad but uh, what we want to do here is we're going to go ahead and type exit dot add action listener and inside of here we're going to go ahead and type new action listener Open parenthesis, close parenthesis, open bracket, close bracket, and make sure to put a semicolon at the end there. Before we go ahead and perform this, we should go all the way at the top, and we also need to import another library. It's a Java AWT. Alright, so now that we've done that, we can go ahead. What we also need to type in here, we're going to have to type public void action perform and inside its parenthesis we're going to type action event ev and open bracket close bracket. Alright. Next we're going to go ahead and type system dot exit and zero for a parameter you see all red is because we have to still import the correct class now that it has been imported we also have to import the event one so let's go ahead and import that as well so if you go up here make sure you've also imported this class or all, all you have to do is type event and dot and now we'll, we can get rid of this too. And we still have the same exact thing. Alright, so what this would do, uh, let's go ahead and go over our code before we go ahead and run this. So, we're calling, we're recalling, when we type exit that uh, action listener, is we're adding a listener to the exit menu item. So if something happens to it, basically it changes, basically somebody clicks on it, it will perform this action. It will create a new action listener, and it will call the method, uh, yeah, a method called action perform and action event, which will listen to make sure if, if if basically something changes, basically if some somebody clicks on it or enters or and well for this case it, it's if somebody clicks on it. So if somebody clicks on it, it will perform whatever code we write here. And in in our case, we just wrote we told it to exit, basically close the program. So if you go ahead and build this, and now. If I go ahead and click on the file, and if I hit the exit button, if I click on it, the program should close. So let's go ahead and try that. It did close, just like we expected. Okay, so that was our first, um, our intro to action listeners. And uh, so next, what we will do is we're going to go ahead and uh, put in there some text field, and we're going to go ahead and uh, add an action listener to our uh, reset menu item. 
So stick around for the other tutorial and guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch all my other videos and please leave, uh, leave as many comments as possible and send me messages or leave comments about any videos in particular you would like me to make. And please please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and once again watch all my other videos. Thank you for watching this one. Bye guys.